All right, guys, welcome back. It's been a couple of days since I've worked on the Briggs Flathead 5-horse engine. Um, it is all dried. The RTV is cured and ready to go. So uh, now we're just going to finish putting this back together and uh, hopefully have a working engine back again. All right, we got our engine flip over to the other side. Uh, first thing we're going to do here is... Uh, put that flywheel back on. So uh, I'll get that done here quick and uh, cut back. All right, now that I got that flywheel back on, that's impacted, nice and secure, it's not going anywhere, um, I can go ahead and put this ignition coil back on. All right, we got our coil on. We have our gap set to matchbook thickness. Those look nice and even. Got our back fan shroud on. Now it's time to put on the front fan shroud and pull start cord assembly. All right, now that the engine covers are on, uh, I can go ahead and get the fuel tank and carburetor assembly and go ahead and throw that on and then uh, put on the muffler. And oh man, you have no idea how cold it is to hold that gas tank while trying to tighten up the intake bolts. Oh, this is growing frost. This was sitting out in the garage so it didn't fume up the house, but wow, that's chilly. This is always the best bolt to tighten up. Just tiny bits at a time. All right, now we have our carburetor, fuel tank, linkages, and kill switches all hooked up. Uh, so we are ready to go ahead and throw on that muffler. All right, there we go. Now we have a muffler. Only thing left is to put our air filter back on. All right, and there we go. We have our air cleaner back on. This uh, dust boot here was a little uh, cracked, so I covered that up with some RTV to keep the dust out of the uh, engine. So yeah, this puppy's done and ready for action again. All right guys, thanks for watching. That's the end of the video. Uh, I had a lot of fun rebuilding this Briggs 5 horse. Um, the plan is to put this on another go-kart uh, so I can race around with a friend and uh, have a second one uh, for doing tandems and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the plan. It should be pretty fun. And if that doesn't pan out, I have another Briggs 5 horse that I could just put on a bike or anything else. Uh, it's a really universal engine, super easy to work on, and they're dead simple and reliable, and I love these engines. So, uh, yeah, having an extra one on the shelf that's got a fresh rebuild, always a good thing. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, hit subscribe and the notification bell so you'll be notified when I publish the next video. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.